so let's start off with the bass riff. Now this is probably for beginners who haven't yet moved on to chords. It's really easy to play. It won't take you long to learn. So it's two on the big E string and you do this eight times. Okay, then move along to five. So you've got um, the fret markers on your guitar, it's the second one along. And then it's on the A string, which is the second top. And then five on the top. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Down to four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, um, let's do that all together. One, two, three, four. Um, now let's look at the main melody. So it's two on the third string up, zero two on the second, open E, let's do that again, then two, four, two, zero on the small E string. Zero. Second on string two. And zero. Again. Okay, now you repeat that three times. The second time you repeat it, uh, you don't play open. Uh, the open B string at the end. Uh, on the third time, you just it's the same as the first. Okay, the fourth and final line is a bit different. So it's two on the third string. Zero two zero on the second. And again. Then two on the third. Zero on the second. Two on the third. Fourth on the fourth, second on the second, uh, third. So, ah, I'm playing this a bit like a robot, um, so it's a bit clearer to learn. Uh, let's try the second, the final line again, all together. I'll make sure you can download this in the link below and you can just follow the follow the music. Okay, let's have a look at some chords. You're gonna need a capo. Well you don't need a capo, but this will make um, it easier to play. So the first chord is E minor. I'll just go through all the, if you know your chords, I'll just quickly go through them. So it's E minor. C G and D over F sharp, which is where you place your thumb on the second fret of the big E string and go from the top. The thumb will be muting the A string, so don't worry about that. Well, do worry about it, just make sure your thumb's muting it, but don't worry about playing it, because it won't make a sound. Or you can do simple or straight D major. Okay, uh, E minor. So. You want your first finger, or first or index finger on the second string down, second fret, and then your second finger below on the second fret as well. And you play all of the strings, can you see that? The next chord is C, so let's start from the bottom, nothing on the first string. First fret on the second, nothing on the third, second fret on the fourth string, and then third fret on the 5th. And for C, you want to miss out the top E string. And you'll go from the 2nd down, which is the A. And it's G. So, let's start here. The 1st finger is on the 2nd fret, 2nd string down, or the A string. 3rd finger there, which is, no, 2nd finger on the 3rd fret of the big E string. And then, finally, you want to put your 3rd finger on the 3rd fret of the bottom string. And then you play from the top. And then ignore that F sharp, D F sharp, 
thing will be F sharp. Just play straight D, which is one finger here, second fret, third string up, second finger on the second fret, the bottom string, and then complete the triangle as it's like a triangle shape. The third finger on the third fret of the second string. And make sure you play from the D, D string there, and not the top. Okay, the pattern you can do for this, um, well, if you're a beginner, just play each of these chords for four beats. So strum and hold, or strum the chord, pick up one, two, three, four, move to the next one. Okay, and then you have more of a chance of playing with the song, which is kind of the ultimate goal, or maybe not. So, um, if you're more advanced, you can do something like this. So that was down, down, up. Um, and that's it. If you're more advanced, if you want to do a finger style version that's combining, well, I guess the chords and the melody at the same time, uh, it's on the back here. Um, and if you've got a finger style guitar, you can probably work that out. I'll play it for you now so you can see. And you want your capo for this. Here we go. Whoops. Something like that. Any problems, just uh, send me a message. Thanks for watching.